Hello internet world and welcome to my biggest upgrade ever. Very, very excited. Today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing of three new products for the channel. Uh, very kindly supplied to me, uh, super quickly, I should say, by Clifton Cameras. I've got the Sony a7C. I've also got two Tamron lenses, the 17 to 28 millimeter, and also the 28 to 75 millimeter. These are full frame lenses for the Sony FE mount. And I can't wait to unbox these for you. This is gonna be a big upgrade for the channel because this is gonna become my main camera. So without further ado, let's take a look inside the boxes. So let's start with my unboxing of the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter lens. This is a 28 to 75 f 2.8 DI 3 RXD for Sony mirrorless cameras. Uh, this particular one covers the full frame as well, so it's a Sony FE mount. Uh, very nice box. So when we first open this up, we are presented with some paperwork for the lens. And then we've got the lens itself tucked away down inside the box. Let's pop that box to one side. So your lens should come wrapped in this sort of uh, quite thick paper, which is nice to see. And when we open it up, we're presented of course with the lens uh, and the lens hood already in place. So you do get a lens hood with this lens. Let's just remove this. So obviously it's on backwards when it's in the box and it will in fact uh, go on this way when you put it onto the lens. So it comes with a lens hood, that's really nice to see. Tamron uh, also of course put a, a front lens cap on and when we take this off we reveal the front element. Really nice piece of glass there. It's a 67 millimeter thread. If you're gonna buy some sort of UV or protection filter or polarizing filter, 67 millimeters. Uh, we've also, of course, got the um, uh, the back element as well, which is, of course, covered as well. So I'll show you that. And it's a metal lens mount. Looks like there's a rubber gasket around there as well. So some sort of a weather sealing around the lens. That's nice to see. Uh, there's no other buttons on here. There's no sort of focus uh, lock or anything like that. Uh, so do bear that in mind. And then the front ring, so this is reversed to what you'd see on quite a lot of manufacturers lenses. Normally you would have the focus ring on the front, zoom ring on the back, but this is reversed. So the zoom is on the front and this is 28 to 75. And you'll see that the uh, front element protrudes as you zoom in and out. Very, very smooth action though, nicely weighted. And then we've got a very smooth uh, focus ring on the back. So very, very nice controls, really well-built lens. It feels absolutely superb. Uh, really, this should be a multi-purpose lens for you, especially if you're doing video work, 28 to 75 millimeters is a really good focal range. Uh, a lovely looking lens. Very, very pleased that I picked this up and I can certainly recommend that you consider this for your Sony E or Sony FE mount camera. So this is the Tamron. 17 to 28 millimeter f 2.8 di 3 rxd lens uh, very very nice this is for sony mirrorless cameras it's uh, backed up by a five year warranty which is nice to see uh, this will fit sony e mount it covers the full frame as well so sony fe mount as well if you've got a full frame camera this will work absolutely fine so inside the box we have got some paperwork it includes warranty information and then we've of course got the lens itself tucked away down there. So let's just remove this from the box. Now your lens should come packed in this tissue paper. And again, this protect, protects the lens a little bit from scuffs and scratches whilst it's in that packing. So let's open this up and take a look. Wow, here is the lens. So it comes uh, supplied with a lens hood that's fitted in reverse. So we can remove this and this will actually uh, fit around this way when the lens is in use. So really nice that Tamron include uh, this lens hood. A lot of manufacturers don't do that nowadays. You have to buy it as a separate purchase, but this is included inside the box. We've of course got a front lens cap, which we pinch in like so to reveal the front of the lens. It's a 67 millimeter thread, the same as uh, many of the uh, Tamron lenses that they produce. So if you're gonna add a UV filter, 
polarizing filter or just some sort of protection to the front, 67 millimeters is what you need to pick up. We've of course also got the rear lens cap and we've got rubber grommet around the outside, metal mount. So we've got some weatherproof uh, sealing on the back as well. It says here on the lens, really nice font they've used here as well. I like that a lot. So it says 17 to 28 millimeter f2.8. And we've got the uh, zoom ring on the front. A lot of lenses have this on the back. So these are sort of reversed, uh, but 17 to 28 millimeters really nicely weighted as well. Uh, internal zoom on this, so the front element doesn't extend as you zoom in and out. And then we've got a really nice smooth uh, focus ring on the back. It's a really nice lens, very nice size, nice weight to it, uh, and feels like a really good build quality as well. I can certainly recommend that if you've got a Sony E-mount camera or Sony full frame camera with the E-mount, this is well worth checking out. So this is my unboxing of the Sony A7C. This is a full frame camera with the Sony E-mount. Uh, really good focus on here apparently. They call it 4D focus now. So when we open up the box, we are presented with some paperwork, including an offer of a one year extended warranty, which is nice to see. Also some reference guide paperwork and uh, also a little instruction manual as well to get us up and running. Then we, when we look inside the main compartment, we've of course got the camera here. We've got some additional accessories. We've got a Sony a7C branded camera strap inside the box. We've also got a charger. So a little tiny external charger, USB on one end, figure eight uh, connector on the opposing end. We've also got the battery itself, and these batteries have got really good battery life. So very, very good battery life. This is the Sony NP-FZ100. This should keep your camera running nicely for a long time. It's always a good idea to use original batteries as well. They tend to perform better than third party ones. Then further down inside the box, we've got this compartment here, which has got a European adapter and also a three pin UK adapter. That's everything inside that uh, section there. And then we've got the camera itself, which we'll take a look at in a short while. And then just under here, something you mustn't miss is your USB cable. So it's USB A on one end, which plugs into that charger, and also USB C on the opposing end, which goes into the camera. And then we've got the camera itself, the Sony. A7C, A7 and the C stands for compact. And uh, this is essentially uh, the same as the Sony A7 III, but in a more compact body. And it's also using the new Sony color science. You're gonna get slightly different color science out of this in comparison to the A7C. And also slightly less controls because a more compact body means less room for physical controls. If we look around on the bottom here, We've got the battery compartment for that nice big battery. If we look on the front, of course, we've got where we put the lens, lens release just here. On this side here, we've got various covers. And if we open these up, the top one, we have got uh, the microphone input. So it's a three and a half millimeter microphone input. Just close that up. They feel really nice covers on this as well. This one here is the single memory card slot, which takes SD cards. And then this bottom one here will be USB-C, uh, micro HDMI, uh, and also a headphone monitoring jack on the bottom here. So you can actually monitor the audio. On the opposing side, nothing at all apart from the NFC contact point and of course the grip. If we look around on the back, we have got the viewfinder in the top right with a diopter adjustment, menu button, AF on button, function button, little scrolly wheel, uh, which also acts as a rocker, and an OK button in the middle, playback and the trash can. And then, oh, something I forgot to show you on the bottom, which is of course a centrally mounted or central to the lens uh, tripod mount. And then also on the back, something quick to show you is the screen, which is fully articulating. So you can have it at whatever angle you want, which is really nice to see. And then of course the controls across the top here. We've got a hot shoe mount, what looks like, I think that's probably the microphone just here. Then we've got the mode dial, uh, which is quite a simplified mode dial, but we've still got three custom slots as well. 
we've got the on off rocker just here and then of course we've got the um, uh, record button and then we've got exposure compensation just on the back at the top here this is a, another little control dial here as well and of course we've got the thumb rest really nice feeling grip though feels like an absolutely superb camera really nice ergonomics and uh, it just looks absolutely fantastic this should produce really stunning results so i hope you enjoyed those unboxings we've got three really good pieces of kit here and as i mentioned at the beginning of this video three really great upgrades to the gear that i'm going to use to record uh, as my main camera on the Geekanoids channel so we've got the sony a7c which you saw me just unbox i really do like the shape of this the ergonomics it's a very very compact camera i saw some quite negative videos about this on youtube and i was a little bit sort of nervous about going for this particular camera because i thought it was going to feel sort of cheap and nasty but it feels really nice it does feel very very well made the reports from people saying it was plasticky uh, yeah you've got a plastic top plate but you've definitely got a very very rigid uh, sort of body in this it has got a little bit of a knocking sound inside so i hope that's okay it's probably something to do with the um uh, with the image stabilization but a very very nice camera so very pleased with that and then why did i go with the tamron lenses well the obvious answer to that is there's a big cost saving but also the performance of these looks to be very very good indeed in comparison to some of the sort of sony lenses there is a little step down in aperture so these are f 2.8 as opposed to a lot of the offerings from sony now being f 1.8 but i can live with that because i do most of my recording in the studio and most of the time i've got my studio lights on so the scene is very well lit now why did i go with these two particular lenses well they cover a nice zoom range we've got 17 to 28 millimeter on this one with a constant f 2.8 aperture so when i'm zooming in uh, it doesn't alter the uh, sort of exposure settings or anything like that. It's a constant aperture. It's going to look absolutely fantastic. It also shares the same 67 millimeter thread size as the slightly larger zoom lens. And the reason I went with this one is if I'm recording something that requires some real close up work and I want to zoom in, then I've got that much wider range on this. And then of course, when we're out and about again, doing videos outside, this is gonna be a much more useful lens. 17 to 28 millimeters on the other lens isn't a, a really useful zoom range, but 28 to 75 millimeters certainly is. One of the big surprises when I was unboxing this, this is just how smooth that zoom feels. Really, really good, and these are also uh, internal sort of focusing as well so when they're focusing in and out it doesn't sort of move the front element really good absolutely love both of the lenses how they feel I can't wait to try them out now in all fairness I probably won't do a dedicated video to let's just see how this lens performs but what I will actually do for you guys and girls because I know you like to know what I'm using to record the videos is when I start using the Sony a7C, I will tell you at the beginning of the video. So at least you've got some indication I've made that switch. I think you'll probably notice it for yourself anyway, because even though this Sony camera performs extremely well, the Nikon Z50 performs extremely well, even though that is the case, I think you'll notice a definite step up in quality. So that's it for this video. Again, a big, big thank you to Clifton Cameras for getting these out to me so quickly. I really do appreciate it. I use Clifton Cameras for pretty much all of my photography and videography purchases because of their attention to detail, uh, the, especially the packing. Not only the communications, you get updates when things have shipped, but in the attention to detail with the packing, really very, very impressive. So please do check out the link to their website down in the video description area. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section below. Hit the like button and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.